We're gathered here today in this beautiful place, this magical place we call the Red River Gorge. Before God and each of you as witnesses to celebrate the marriage of Alicia Marie Ronersman and Dylan Mackenzie Connor. We hold Alicia and Dylan up to each other as a family and a community of loved ones to christen this step on their journey. Yeah, I think that goes for all three of us. We hold marriage up as a sacred union between two people who are committed to loving one another and spending the rest of their lives together, faithful to each other and to their journey together. Marriage is a serious institution. It requires deep commitment, faith and trust in your spouse and patience to make it work. Obviously, I know Dylan and Alicia pretty well. In the conversations that we have had over the last several years, and in the conversations about this ceremony, I've observed that deep commitment that they have to each other, their faith, trust, and patience. And above all, I've seen the love that they have for each other. In 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul provides us with a beautiful description of the kind of love that a marriage needs. He writes, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-serving, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Alicia and Dylan, I urge you to hold to that vision of your love for one another, because as you go through life together, we know that life will present its challenges. But in the midst of these challenges, it is love that we'll see you through. So now it's time to declare yourselves to one another. Alicia, do you take Dylan to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward, to have and to hold in good times and bad, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? Will you love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I will. Dylan, do you take Alicia to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward? To have and to hold in good times and bad, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, will you love, honor, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? I will. Alicia, Dylan, you have prepared some of your own vows. People often describe feelings of love in impossible terms. I love you to the moon and back and drowning in the sea of love come to mind. Maybe that's because there's no way to fully encapsulate the experience of love in a string of words. It's something better understood once felt and it's best understood between two people in love. And the love I feel for you is what has brought us here today to bond ourselves in marriage. The Red River Gorge is a special place with many memories for my family. My grandparents showed me the gorge when I was a child and instilled in me a love of nature. One of the, our first experiences as a couple was a short backpacking trip here off Rush Ridge. Since that trip years ago, we've hiked hundreds of miles in forests and deserts and everything in between. Dylan, you're my best friend, my favorite travel buddy. You're my rock and my beacon. There was no one else I could imagine traveling with to the Maroon Bells, the Cascades, and the Canyonlands. 
especially when it was 104 degrees. <laughs> it's a little uh, rough. As crazy as my plans have sounded, you've gone along with them to make me happy. Thank you for getting lost with me, even though I never feel lost when I'm with you. We've come full circle, ending our dating journey where we began. As a married couple, I look forward to many more memories here and wherever the adventure takes us. I love you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to follow that up, I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. Alicia, when I look at you standing here today, surrounded by our friends, loved ones, and the natural beauty of this place, we both come to love so dearly. I see my world. You're my world. I knew from the moment you brought me out here, you know, with my camouflage Jansport backpack and my carabiner lunchbox with steaks and the bottle of wine that you always would have my heart. You rekindled in me my love of nature and more than that, a love of life and the adventure that it brings and can bring. And what it means to have someone to hold and love deeply. We've had quite a few adventures together since then. And look how far we've come these last seven years from traveling long distance just to see each other to living together now. It's meant everything to me to see our love and devotion for one another just flourish and grow. And now here in this place, I declare my vows to you. I vow to be patient and fully devoted to you through the best and worst of days. I vow to love and cherish you with all of my being and all of my heart. I vow to give you my strength and will to forge a life worthy of your radiant, bright-eyed soul. For you, for me, for our little furry family we've grown so fond of, because that's what you deserve. I'm yours. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um, <laughs> all right, we have the rings. Right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Just hide a little bit. Look at that big ring. So, Alicia, please repeat after me. Dylan, with this ring, I thee wed. Dylan, with this ring, I thee wed. Okay. Next, we have. Okay, Dylan, please repeat after me. Alicia, with this ring, I thee wed. Alicia. With this ring, I do wed. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of God and these witnesses, it is my pleasure to pronounce you by the power vested in me, husband and wife. You may kiss your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> it is my great pleasure to present to you for the first time Dylan and Alicia Connor. Yeah. Yeah, I got you, girl. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you gonna do it? You, I didn't plan to do this with the bouquet. Just, just fine, just All right. kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, just kiss me.
sorry guys, looks like uh, we're having a technical difficulty, possibly. Maybe, maybe we need a minute. <laughs> I'm not